In this video, I wanted to talk about the Google Drive feature, which is also part of your Gmail account if you already have a Gmail account. So if you go into Google uh, and use your Gmail account, so say if I go to even google.com, and or if you're in Gmail, you'll see this dot at the corner and you can click on the drive option. What is Google Drive is, is what is known as the cloud services. So you can put all your files in Google Drive and then you can edit it from anywhere in the world. And many co co companies have started using what is known as Google Apps. So they use Google for their email services and calendars. So you see the calendar option also here. And they use Google Drive to create their documents, Word, Excel, spreadsheets, and then I mean share and collaborate with the team members. So this is why uh, you might come across some jobs where people could be asking you about it. So you can start using this in your personal way too because if you don't have Microsoft Office you can do that and I'm also to show you how you can even send a fax from the Google Drive itself so if I click on Drive it will ask you to sign in with your email address and password and you can also go to drive.google.com directly so I am into my account right now and uh, you will see that right away I've got some files that I have created in the past and I can even go to create and I can create a document so I can click on the document and then I can give it a name here so I can give it any name I want click OK and then here I can start typing my document so this is just like Microsoft Word if you are familiar with it and then you can make it bold italic so whatever you want to do and uh, even with this, what they've started doing is they've started adding lots of add-ons. So if I click on add-ons, get add-ons, they have add-ons for easy bibliography, for table of contents, thesaurus, translation. So they are adding a lot of functionality as an add-on and a lot of these are free. And uh, I've seen one at, on a testing for mail merge. This is merging with MailChimp, which is like a free service. But there is one that are working on creating a mail merge option. So all of these things, you know, labels, you can install it. And a lot of them are free. Uh, very few will charge you money. And even if it's just a little, little bit money. So now this is a document that has been created. I've given it a name. I can even close it. I can print it whenever you want it. So now that file is there and what I did is I created a folder so you can create a folder for uh, cover letters or whatever business whatever names you want to give it so that I can take this resume and I can drop it in the resume folder so that I it's all organized and if I click here and if I click on resume and if I try to click on create and create a document it will automatically be saved in this folder so if I'm in the drive, when I create a create, it's in the drive folder. And you can create presentations, spreadsheets, and even a form uh, that you can do. And you can create a form to accept uh, information from people. You can create form to just for registration purposes. So if I click on the form option, I can choose the style I want. I can give it the name. And if you're a teacher, you can also create a form to uh, get people to answer questions. You see, I can type a question here. And then I can say that this is a multiple choice, or are they just supposed to answer the question? So I can even choose, like, say, multiple choice, and I can give the answer here. and then you can keep on adding more items and you can choose whether this is just like a plain text question or are they going to write a paragraph so you can choose that and then you can choose put in a question and then this is the box and in the previous question I can edit it and um, I can first of all make it required if I want it And I can also edit this one and I can make this required and they also have an option for data validation so you can make sure that you're getting the answer you want and I can click done on this and now you can actually choose 
to send the form to people. So if I click send, there's the link. You can email it to people. There is an embed option. When I click it, I can take this code and if I have a website, I can put it on my website. So it's a very interesting feature uh, to use. And I can also say that, you know what, this um, form, when it is received, I need to decide where the uh, responses will be saved. So if I click on View Responses, it's being saved in this Form 3 an Excel form, and I'll see the answers to this question and who's answered what. So it's a very good way to check things out, and I can close it, and I should see that. So Form 3, and there's the Form 3 responses in here. Now, anytime any document I wanted to share with somebody, so if I click on the resume file, I want to click on resume 1, I can click on the share option. And you can even, in the drive, you can just choose to share the whole folder. I can click on the share. And uh, you can choose uh, whether this is only me or I can change it. And I can make it public so anybody can look at it, no sign in required. Or anybody with the link, no sign in required. Or I can choose specific people. And then, so that's the link that I can send to people. Or I can write here, I can choose the people who can only make changes to this. And I can type the email addresses. And the emails will start to pull up from your Gmail contact list. And I can also decide whether they can view it or can they edit it. So all of these options you can set and then you can hit send and they'll get an email saying that I've shared a folder or a file with them and they can start working with me. So for collaboration purposes this is very useful and many companies try to use that. Okay. Now I want to talk to you about how you can send a fax right from Google Drive. So for that you have to use the option to add apps. So from the corner here in the settings there is an option called Manage Apps. You click it. And uh, these are some of the apps already installed. And then click on Connect More Apps. So there are lots of apps which add functionality, like opening PDFs or editing your pictures. And so there's a lot of features that are added in here. So you can look at it and see which one works for you and which what do you need. And a lot of them are free from what I see. And then up here, if I was looking for facts, I can click facts. And you see this Hello Facts, which they allow you to fax 50 free pages for the first six months. After that, it will be five per month. And if you pay them $10 a month, you can also get your own fax number, and they let you fax more things. Now, I've already installed it, so you'll see a Connect button. You have to click on Connect, and it will get installed. Now, once it is installed, you will see it under Create. That app will be listed here. And under Create, you can also click on Connect More Apps. So instead of going to the settings, you can do it from here too. Now the first time when you click it, it will ask you your permission that because this app needs to access some basic information about you, about your Google Drive, because it needs to fax it. So you'll have to accept it, otherwise it will not work. Now if I click it, I'm in the fax app, and so it's being logged into that company's website using my Gmail account and now from here I can choose to fax the document and when I'm there I can upload a file even from my computer if you have a Dropbox account which is another cloud service you can use it and you'll have to sign in with your Dropbox there's the drive so if I click on the drive option it should show me all the files that I have in my drive so I can click on the resume and then choose resume 2 I can choose more and then I just put the fax number here and I can send it out. And they also have the feature that you can add a file from your SkyDrive, which is known as OneDrive now, which is by Microsoft Hotmail. Almost the same feature, so you can create documents right in Hotmail by using the OneDrive feature, Word, Excel, and things. So it's very useful. And so this is a good way to send out fax when you need to do it pretty quickly. I'll just close this. And um, I'm going to go back into my resume folder and open this resume one. And uh, what I did is in their add-on, I get kept clicked on add add-ons and I looked for this hello fax thing. So I did a search for fax and I installed it. I've already installed it because now right from here I can click on hello fax and I can choose to sign, send fax. 
and I'll be able to put the telephone number, add a cover page if I had, and then hit send. So right from the document you can do that and you can always go and edit it. Now the idea of the drive is that it's on the cloud, it's on the internet, so that you can access it from anywhere in the world. And that's the benefit of it. And what you can do is, you can actually install this drive to your computer. So you will get a special folder in your computer, and whatever files you put in it will show up here automatically. So it will. So if you put a folder, it will show up here. It will put a file, it will show up here. Your pictures, so you can start putting whatever you want in that particular folder. And if you look in the left hand side bottom, they give you 15 gig for free. And uh, just recently, they've actually changed the price by which you get 100 gigabytes of backup. This is what we'll call a backup for $2 a month. And 1000 gig, which is one terabyte, is for $10 a month. So this would be a great way to have uh, all your important things in the cloud. So just in case something happened to your computer, you will have a copy. You should be in a habit of doing backup. So if nothing else, you should be getting this external hard drives, which you can get for $50, $60, and attach it to your computer, and you can back it up. And you can also use this, at least the important stuff, for 15 gig for free. It's great. You click on Manage, and there it is. 15 gig is free. You can get 100 gig for $2, and you can choose and buy this service from Google. Okay. So once this is installed, you will have to sign in to the computer. And I'm just going to open up my folder, and you will see a Google Drive folder show up. So you see, whatever I have in my Google Drive also shows up right in here. And you can take any of your folders. So if I take any folders uh, from here, so let's see, I'll take... Uh, Excel files. How many are there? There's only a few there. So if I copy this, I'll go to my Google Drive and I right click and paste it. Now, whatever I've pasted here, this Excel file will start to get sync across. And if you look in the right hand side corner where the time is, you don't see that symbol because I'm not recording that part. But in the bottom, in the right hand side, you will see this Google Drive and you will see the sync is happening. You can pause it. You can also go to preferences and you can decide whether this should start automatically when your computer start. And you can also choose if you want it to not sync all the folders from Google Drive. So you can see only sync some folders. So you can say only sync this resume folder to this computer. So you can control that if you do not want a whole lot of things in here. And as soon as the file is synced, you will see this check mark next to it. And now if I go to my drive, you see there's the Excel file. And I added an extra file in there. So now you see there is this Excel 6 example file. So if I click it, and I choose the More option, and I say Open With, because that file was created in Microsoft Excel, and I say Google Sheets. Now let's see, so it's trying to open and there is my Excel file with all my sheets the way it was and it's converted it to the Google format. So now if I close it, you'll find that there are two files. One is the regular XLS and this is the Google example. So this I can manage it much better because it's converted automatically to the Google format. So this is great. And the other benefit of the drive is that if you had multiple computer, you can install that drive option on all the computers and sign in with your Gmail account. So when one thing changes in one computer, it also gets changed across different places. So this is the benefit of the cloud, that it is all synced across, and that's why a lot of the companies like it. Now, a lot of the files that you have in the Google format and that I have in my computer too, because it's syncing across, if I wanted to make changes to them, so say I wanted to go to my resume file and make changes to this resume one, um, and if I didn't have internet connection, what happens? So uh, I think before I thought it was able to do it in Microsoft Word, but now it looks, doesn't look right. I'm pretty sure there are ways to work around it. But for now, what you can also do is in Google Chrome, I can actually, there, you will see the more button here on the left hand side, and I'll say offline, and I'll have to enable offline, 
but you got to do this only in Google Chrome. From what I've seen, as they say that it doesn't work in other things. And uh, now, if you didn't have internet connection, you will be able to continue to work on your documents through Google Chrome, and then you'll be able to sync it across to the drive as soon as the internet connection shows up. So once you finish this, you will be able to see the offline here. When you click it, you will be able to see all your files. So I'm just going to turn off my uh, internet. So I'm just going to disable my internet Wi-Fi. Now if I click on this resume one, it should open because it saved a copy. Now make sure that wherever you do this, you have password on your user account because you don't want anybody going into your files without your permission. So now and I'll turn it back on my internet now for some reason I found that initially it didn't work so what I would suggest to you if that happens click here choose disable offline and then go ahead and click on the offline button again and enable it again so you may need to install the app also if they ask you so do that and I did that and it worked the second time I don't know why it didn't work the first time around so this is uh, the whole idea of Google Drive. I hope you've got a good idea for it that if in a work environment they ask you do you know anything about it you can say yes I do and you can start using it for personal usage and also you can start looking into understanding calendars and it's very simple you have your calendar you can view it by month view four days agenda and you can start adding appointments by using the create button or double click on any of the dates and that's it that's the way you create calendars I hope this was useful I'll, I'll try to make another one for Hotmail OneDrive to talk about this that in more details thanks for watching